guys welcome back to my channel um, in today's video I'm gonna be making some homemade mac and cheese I'm not making the pasta from scratch because I don't know how to do that or it just takes too long I don't have the tools for it um, but we will be making homemade cheese sauce together um, and I'm gonna take you along with me to make that um, and then you can see what I do um, if you have any tips or whatever for after when you see how I do it then you can comment down below how you make yours and then maybe I'll try it out but yeah let's get into the video alrighty so first thing I need to grab out a pot to um, cook the pasta in and then also a pot for the sauce so I'm gonna have this pot with the sauce and this one for the pasta to cook the pasta. So yeah, I'm just gonna turn around the camera to face the sink. Yes, there are dishes in it. Do I care? No. Um, okay. Fill the pot with some water. About that much. Now I'm going to put it on the stove. stove. Now we are going to turn on the element and get the water boiling. Um, and then while that's happening, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to measure out the ingredients for the sauce. Um, Board. Got some cheese. Um, I like to use marble cheese when I make it. Um, you can make use whatever you want. I just prefer the taste of marble. Um, and then I'm gonna need some milk. Technically, you're supposed to use butter, but I don't have butter, so margarine it is. What else? And I add sriracha to the sauce. Like that. And I think that's it from the fridge. Let's close the fridge. Um, yeah. So I'm just gonna prep everything before we start. And I know I should probably grate the cheese, but no one's got time for that. So we will not be doing that. I'm just gonna cut up some pieces of cheese that will go into the sauce. Thank you. 
So I'm going to do a quick time lapse of um, me cutting the cheese because obviously you don't want to just sit here and watch me cut cheese for the next like three minutes or like a minute or two. So I'm going to do a quick time lapse to speed this up. Now we're back here at the stove. Um, I'm going to grab some salt from the counter above. And salt the water. Uh, I will need that for the sauce. I'm going to keep that out. Um, and then a little bit of paprika and onion powder. I do have curry powder, but obviously I'm not going to add that to mac and cheese. I have done that before and I honestly prefer without. Um, I'm going to grab a lid to speed up the process of the boiling of the water. So let me grab out my lid. stove for the cheese sauce. Okay, so what we're going to need is some butter. And I am running out. And I usually eyeball everything. I don't really measure anything. my stuff. I don't ever measure it because I've made this quite a bit of times where I don't need to measure it. So I do this much butter in the pot. And now you're going to want to work fast because margarine and butter can burn if it's not being watched and I have burned it before. So I'm going to work fast with this. need flour so I'll be grabbing that out. I'm just gonna move the seasonings out of the way and bring the camera closer so you can see what I am doing. Okay, um, I'm going to need to turn off this one and put it here just because I can't position my camera any other way. So we're going to be working with these two burners. Um, okay, that's for the pasta. Okay, there we go. 
Yeah, so there's the butter melted, um, as you can see. And now I am going to grab my flour. big bag of flour. And I'm gonna do a heaping spoon of flour. Now flour and butter can burn, so like I said before, you want to move fast. So I'm going to whisk it together and create a roux with the flour and the butter. Something like that. At this point, this is when you're going to add your milk. Once again, I do not measure. I'm going to add that much milk. Um, and the butter, not the butter, sorry. Um, the cheese will thicken the sauce. Make sure you get all the clumps out from the butter and flour mixture. And it should look something like this. So it's like a pale white. Um, and that is what it should look like. Now what you will do is start adding your cheese. So I'm going to grab my cheese that I cut up throw it in the sauce and this will act as a thickening agent um, that's probably the wrong word I probably shouldn't use that word but you get what I mean it will thicken the sauce so I'm going to start with that if I need more I will cut up more and then you're going to continue to mix until the cheese is all melted Now this is why people grate their cheese because um, cheese like this does not melt fast. Um, you're gonna be sitting here stirring it for a little bit or waiting for it to melt. Um, it's melting decently fast as you can tell, like it's not taking too, too long. So I'm not too worried about it. So 
So yeah, you're gonna continue to stir and I need to stop splashing. <laughs> and you will notice that it is starting to thicken a little bit, as you can see here. Yeah, it's definitely getting thick. So I may not need more cheese, but we will see. Um, and now you're, you might think that this is not a lot of cheese sauce. Um, yes, you are right. The thing is though, I'm only making it for me and my boyfriend, so we do not need a ton. Okay, at this point, you're gonna start seasoning your sauce. So yeah, that is thick. You're gonna start seasoning it. And my water is boiled, which is perfect timing. So I'm going to grab my pasta. And I know macaroni takes takes like um I'm just gonna reduce the heat for the sauce so it doesn't burn. I know macaroni takes about I think it's like eight minutes to cook. I'm gonna put in the pasta about that much. That's definitely more than enough. And then come back to stirring this. Bring this closer. Yeah, so it's a thick sauce, like as you can tell, it's pretty thick. Um, now let's add our seasonings. So we're going to add some pepper. salt give it a mix this is what we're working with currently it smells really good shoot yeah I knew that was gonna happen this is not a good utensil to be using. I might need to switch just because now. Okay. And now we're going to add the ground mustard. And add it to the sauce. That's not going to do anything. it again. Okay, 
Um, this is making me annoyed. So I'm going to grab a spatula. There you go. That's much better. I'm going to reduce the heat. So from here, I'm gonna add <clears throat> my paprika and onion powder, just a little bit of that. Onion powder is strong, so I'm not gonna add too much. That's good enough. And I'm going to try this. I've never tried sriracha. I'm going to try some sriracha, make it spicy. I do have another bottle, but I'm not going to open it. Okay. And I'll give it another mix. looking perfect. off the heat and I'm gonna give it a little taste see what needs to be added mmm that is actually really good with the sriracha it adds like a kick it's not spicy like it's not unbearable but it's super good. I have never tried it with sriracha, so I'm very happy with how that turned out. This is what the sauce looks like. The sauce is done. Um, and I'm gonna finish cooking the pasta and I will come back and show you the finishing look after I am done. All right, macaroni has been strained um, and I've got the sauce here, we're gonna pour it in. It has thickened. everything okay and now we are going to give it a mix and make sure the sauce coats all of the pasta looks great. 
looks delicious. Very creamy and cheesy. try this with you guys so I'm gonna move the camera That is really good. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's delicious. Mm. Delicious. I'm gonna put a lid on it and let it stay warm for when I eat it. All right. Well, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys liked it. Um, please like, subscribe, and comment down below what you put in your pasta or like the spices you add for your sauce. I'm very curious how other people make it. Um, and remember to turn on my post notifications so you're notified each time I post. I will be posting once a week. Um, I, my posting schedule was Sundays, but I am going to be switching it up and posting it whenever during the week. Um, but yeah, I hope you liked the video. Bye, everyone.